So I had one of those epiphany moments. I went for a walk this morning, did about five and a half miles. And while I was walking, I was thinking about one of the reports that I was looking at for a prospective new client that I'm working with. The client kind of approached me and said, Jim, I think we have a problem with site speed. So I thought, okay, well, maybe the, the first thing I'll look to do is I'll look to bring up a, a Google Data Studio report that you can run yourself. I mean, I'll, I'll show you the report and I'll show you how you can kind of create your own. It's incredibly easy to do and really impactful. So let me just kind of switch across to screen share. So in this particular case, what I was, want, was interested in was to try and understand a little bit more about the performance of this particular site over time um, and this particular report so you can see down here at the bottom it says you can create your own dashboard so if you go to g.co forward slash chrome ux dash you can actually create your own dashboard uh, like this you just put put in a url in data studio and it's incredibly impactful so originally when this this first particular report came out it came out and it was three pages now it's actually 12 pages and there's a huge amount of information uh, again so many people when they're talking about site speed they just think about uh, the reports that they see in google analytics and that obviously takes into account everything to do with uh, page load speed rather than the important things which is content for paint time to first bite uh, first paint so obviously a, a sort of computer will have a different view than a user. Uh, we'll get to the point where the pages functionally can do something with it. And that isn't necessarily when the actual page lo finishes loading, uh, but it's functional, you can do things with it. But what really kind of hit home to me, this this is the, um, the report on device distribution. And I'm pretty sure if you put in any site, the same thing would apply. So you can see here that, that um, we're, we're in the middle of this pandemic. I say in the middle, who knows if we're in the middle or not, but we're, we're in the in the throes of a pandemic. If you look to see sort of February, Fe, January, February, this particular site had a distribution of about 58% mobile to everything else. So desktop and tablet was, was the rest. Uh, but as you can see, obviously March, the, the, uh, the coronavirus kicked in, people started to get locked down towards the tail end of March. So, so that meant that the uh, the kind of number of people on mobile went up to 61%. And then in April and May, it's gone up dramatically. And I, again, I, I think if you look at any site, the same thing will apply. And that got me thinking. I thought, okay, well, great, fine. It's all well and good thinking that people are now using mobiles because that, that makes sense. But what you've got to think about is most people, when they're at work, they would be able to have a desktop and that desktop would just be for them. If there is a desktop computer at home, typically what you will find is that desktop is being shared by maybe three, four, five, six, seven people, depending on how many people you have in your household. Probably why more people are using mobiles because they can't actually get on a desktop. Now, we've been looking at things like uh, mobile devices for conversions to, to understand user behavior over time for a long time. Uh, but this, for me, was, was like I said, it was a bit of an epiphany. I thought, wow, that is, that is so impactful that really what we should have been doing, and again, I, I hold my hands up and say we, we didn't really kind of predict it to be as, as powerful as this, but what we really should have been doing is doubling down on our bids on mobile traffic because obviously more people are using mobiles. And I know you might say, well, obviously that makes sense. People are at home, but I think they're probably using mobiles at home and they may be on Wi-Fi. So again, that could be another uh, kind of layering that you can actually put into your strategy to actually target mobiles, but when people are connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, so I just thought I'd shoot this quick video to just walk you through that and just maybe, have, again, one, create the Google Data Studio reports for your own clients to have to see what uh, they look like. Um, and and if, if, they ha if they have the same device distribution, then clearly that can kind of sway the, uh, the the changes that you might make to your strategy in terms of the bids that you have and maybe some adjustments that you might make towards how those perform so love to, love to know what your thoughts are if you if you have um, run this report and you find it valuable uh, please make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video leave a comment and let me know whether you see the same thing that we see in terms of this device distribution going up to sort of 85 plus percent uh, for your site I'd be, I'd be really interested to kind of know if that's the same thing and whether you do make any changes to your google ads or facebook ads to modify 
bids based upon device so that would be really interesting to see because again i think as much as we might be coming out of lockdown a little bit we're definitely not out of the woods by any stretch of the imagination lots of people are going to be still working from home which may well be that the challenges of working remotely will still be the same so the desktop computer at home will be um, in short supply and more and more people will be sort of using their mobile to kind of do work uh, which then means that they'll be doing more using their mobile more for searches so yeah I'd love I'd love to know what your thoughts are as to whether this is the same thing that you're experiencing or not and uh, I will talk to you in, in the next video speak to you soon bye